Hello, friends. It's me, Tracy. Uh, well, me and the white masked marauder sitting next to me. The, we'll get to that in a minute. We'd like to thank one of our fans this evening, Kay Cheney. We received a letter from Angels of Assisi a few days ago. They told us that Kay had made a donation in our honor. We learned in that letter that there is a program at Angels of Assisi called the Guardian Angel Program. It provides temporary shelter for your pet if you're a victim of domestic violence, if you're homeless, if you have to go into hospice care, if you're hospitalized for any reason, or if you need mental health treatment, they keep your dog for you until you're back on your feet. Isn't that wonderful? Well, thanks again, Kay, for making that donation in our honor. Oh, brother, let's get back to the white dog laying next to me. You might notice that he's half asleep. Yeah, he's half asleep uh, from eating an extra large dinner, but we'll get to that later. The great Mardini made another prison break today. Yeah, well, me and Marty were in the backyard playing when all of a sudden he starts digging a hole under the fence. I said, whoa, whoa, little guy. Well, you're not supposed to do that. Well, he was under that fence and out the other side in about two minutes. I swear, he's part gopher. Well, I run up to the back door, and I bark and carry on. I I'm trying to get Mom's attention. Did she listen to me? No. She yelled at me to quiet down. I, I said, but Mom, I, I said, and I tried everything. But she wouldn't listen to me. Well, just then, the front doorbell rings. Mom answers the door, and it's Laura, our next-door neighbor, with the captured escaped convict. Yes, he didn't make it very far. He made it one yard over. Oh, Mom put him in solitary confinement and reduced his rations as punishment. Oh, but the great Mardini wasn't through yet. Now, Mom fed us all dinner this evening. Well, Dad had picked up a new bag of food for me from the vet. I get special food, because I'm special. Uh, I have trouble digesting regular ki kibble, so... Anyway, uh, Mom opened the bag up, and she fed me, and then left the open bag there for Dad to put into the Marty-proof food bin that we have. Yeah. Well, Dad was sitting in the kitchen after dinner, sipping his glass of Pinot Grigio, when all of a sudden Patty Cake, the warden, ran in to alert Dad of a breach in the regulations. Dad just shushed Patty Cake. He told her, be quiet, I'm trying to enjoy this glass of wine. Well, just then, Dad hears a crunching noise. He gets up out of his chair, and he sees the open bag of dog food still sitting upright, but with two white back paws sticking out of the top of the bag. Yeah, Marty was head first in the bag, chowing down on my prescription dog food that is supposed to be just for me. By Dad's calculations, the little bandito ate about $15 worth of food. Yeah. Patty Cake and I are hoping that Mom and Dad will start listening better when we sound the alert. Keeping that little white dog in line is a full-time job for us all.